it's incredible just just look at this and to have a facility like this which is such high quality being available for for Shrewsbury as a community and to replace a grass pitch which can only be used on certain occasions have this which can be used all year round for so many different things for different football activities initiatives it's just incredible we can have this at the stadium as well so it's perfect being a TA in, uh, in special education needs we just thought it'd be a great day out um, especially because Shrewsbury Town and community come to Lakelands um, to give our guys something new and unique and a brilliant opportunity to kind of express themselves and have a really good day out. Yeah, how good is it for those SEN students to have a facility like this to, to play on? Yeah, it's, it's paramount and you can see from their faces today how much they enjoyed it and big shout out to Mark and Shrewsbury Town and Community for their hospitality because it's been phenomenal. So Heads Up is a support group for people living with any mental health condition. Um, we come along on a Thursday afternoon at one o'clock and play some football. It's a chance for the lads to socialise, to talk to each other and to talk to us about anything that's going on with their lives. So we've travelled from London, Fresh Eagle FC, to basically support uh, Shrewsbury community, open up this lovely Astro Tough. We're going to have a game, we're going to mix the teams up with some old Shrewsbury legends and um, some the community people that are suffering with mental health. I'm gonna to talk to them and try and help them. This club has a lot to do with me in, in a good way. Like again, we started the brand here, this is what it's all about. And obviously for, for, for me, it holds a personal feel, so anything I can do to give back is always gonna be great. We're planning to basically work towards a big game, charity game next year trying to get all the celebrities to play, all the footballers to play and start planning it now so it would be a great give back for myself to the club and hopefully we might be able to do this every year and, and work from there. Jermaine, the Step Over King, we're here at Tuba Town and Community's official 3G opening. Tell us a little bit about what's going on and why you're here today. Um, well, Marvin Morgan contacted me a few weeks ago asking me if I'd be able to come down because they're opening the, um, this new 3G so I was like, yeah, it would be nice to come back see a few faces and have a little run around as well. I think this is where I had the best part of my career to be honest. I think all the fans really supported me in my time here. We had great success as well with two promotions and I just love my time here to be honest. I think even to this day I still get fans messaging me. I still interact with them on social media so to give something back is massive and something I've always wanted to do as well so as soon as Marvin mentioned it I, I was jumped at the opportunity. Are we going to see some step overs today? You might see a few yeah. Jamie how good was today? It was brilliant to see um, I think when you look back to 2014-2015 when we started working towards the pitch we opened it a few weeks ago um, to actually see um, activities in action on the pitch and see the different type of things that we can do at our disposal right next to the ground has just been brilliant and to see some of the guys from our Heads Up group here playing against uh, Fresh Ego Kid and ex-players playing together. It's really random but really appropriate for, for what we're trying to get to achieve here on this pitch. Yeah, so Marvin's been brilliant. Um, he, he's got a passion to get something happening here in Shropshire around the Fresh Ego Kid team and the promotion winning team um, from back in his day to make sure that we can put something on the pitch as and when COVID allows. We, we don't know when that's going to be yet. Um, we're all working together to try and make that happen. I wish we could say when it was going to be and who's going to be playing and how we can make it happen, but we just need to be patient for now. Um, today was the start of Marvin um, having more of an Involvement over the next 12 months and more so fresh ego kids so we're hoping that he'll be up on a monthly basis from London visiting some of the community um, projects that we have not just here on this pitch but within schools um, within other projects that we do across Shropshire um, and then that will build up to what will be hopefully a game that will raise lots of money for, for local charities.